Hello YouTube. It is Burbizuka. Five types of rhinitis, not just colds or allergies. A runny nose can occur in a wide variety of situations, at any time of the year. There are a number of reasons why this happens. Today we will look at at least five types of rhinitis and the reasons that cause them. Runny nose with a cold. Caused by infections trapped in the upper respiratory tract. A cold provokes a runny nose, as the permeability of the blood vessels in the nose increases, which manifests itself as mucus in the nasal passages. Usually, such a symptom forms two three days after infection with the SARS virus. Colds are caused by viral infections, including coronavirus, rhinovirus, respiratory syncytial virus, metaprevmivirus, into the body. If a runny nose lasts more than 10 days with a cold, then you must see a doctor. After all, then it can be caused by a bacterial infection, which is better treated with antibiotics. Allergic rhinitis Often occurs in autumn or spring, is associated with an inflammatory reaction of the body in contact with pollen from plants, trees, weeds and grasses. The mucus from the nose is usually clear. Treatment is with antihistamines, including tablets or sprays. Nasal sprays with glucocorticoids are often used. Antihistamines help with the runny nose, but are completely useless for nasal congestion associated with allergies. Runny nose from cold air. Fresh cold air in some people provokes excessive snotty. This is because cold and dry air causes the nasal membranes to dry out altering the fluent balance in the nasal passages. Hence, the inflammatory reaction and reflexes of the nasal nervous system, causing the common cold. Runny nose from spicy food. In another way, it is called gustatory rhinitis, and the pathology has not been sufficiently studied. There is speculation that a runny nose is associated with stimulation of the nervous system, trigeminal nerve and may be a parasympathetic response useful for resting and digesting food. Most often associated with the consumption of spicy, hot food, spices. Avoiding such products will avoid the problem. Hormonal rhinitis Hormonal rhinitis is provoked due to the direct effect of hormones on the membranes of the nasal passages, due to which the mucous glands become more active. Influenced by the levels of thyroid hormones, growth hormones and female sex hormones play a key role in hormonal rhinitis. Often, the problem is observed in pregnant women, they are faced with it in 39% of cases when carrying a child. The fact is that changes in blood vessels throughout the body lead to the accumulation of blood in the blood vessels of the nose. How is hormonal rhinitis treated? There is not much data on getting rid of it. The easiest way is to use a nasal saline spray or exercise to relieve the condition. During pregnancy, treatment should be prescribed only by an ENT or a gynecologist. Thank you for your time and attention listening to me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell sign to be informed about new videos. Have a great day.